This is a quick look at Anti-Micro. This is an excellent tool that allows you to map your joystick movements and buttons to keys on the keyboard. Uh, it's open source, so totally free and definitely worth giving a go if you're looking for something like this. Uh, I've got a game here on the right that does support joysticks, but it doesn't work particularly well with my joystick, which uh, at the minute is a Hori Fighting Stick Mini 3. That's a PlayStation 3 like a uh, fighting stick, but it actually works fine in the PC. And using this tool, I can obviously make it work even better with games that wouldn't normally support it. So in here, I've basically gone through the movements of my joystick. So if I push up, down, left and right on the joystick, you can see it's already mapped that there. And obviously where I'm pushing the buttons, they're also appearing. So I basically I've gone through, clicked on the up key, push T on the keyboard, or if you want, you can sort of click on it like that. And I've gone through and mapped them all to the appropriate keys then I've saved it and I've called it the name of the game and the joystick that I've used because it's obviously easier to remember that and that's pretty much it so I'm ready to go before I um, think about playing the game there's also some um, properties here in the options that allow me to check joystick works properly see all the keys work if I had like a, an Xbox 360 controller connected you would see the axes moving as I move the analog sticks around which is pretty good for testing how accurate your analog sticks are or if they're knackered um, I do have a, an old uh, joypad with analog sticks and I knew it wasn't working properly and plugging it into this sort of confirmed that I could see the axes were way out it was sort of like up here when the joystick was um, central so it was pretty useful for that there's a few other options in here most of which I haven't really looked at because they didn't really apply to me and there are some settings we can set it to launch at startup if you want so that's quite handy and that's pretty much it I won't um, bother showing you the gameplay but what I will tell you is it works extremely well I haven't noticed any delay any lag anything like that so far um, and particularly in this game's a fighting game so you need quite fast responses and it's worked really really well so um, definitely worth giving it a go obviously you can save as many different settings as you want call them whatever you want there's some other options here I haven't really explored that much so there's probably a lot more to this than uh, than I've covered but just as the basics there it's a really good tool and it's definitely worth giving it a go so um, yeah if this is this video has been useful to you please click the thumbs up uh, if you'd like to see more of this sort of thing please subscribe uh, if you've got any comments please send them just write them off and uh, that'd be brilliant all right thanks goodbye